Hi right, guys, Yard Vlog 17. We're back to it now after Christmas holidays. So I'll show you the progress. It's not much, it'll just be a quick video. Like I said, Yard Vlog 17. This is mainly about scaffolding and cutting down trees next week. Or, well, cut down the first tree, and you'll see I'm doing it a bit strange, unorthodox of scaffolding, taking down a tree. But uh, I'll show you why I'm doing it. A lot of people will say it's a lot of work hard way to do it well it is but I just think it's safe way of doing it I've got the scaffolding anyway but up until Christmas we cleaned up if you can see the difference a lot the yards looking a lot better because you imagine when that's all painted white now whitewashed the farm white limed scraped the floor as well so looking a bit more like it used to a bit less cluttered about yeah that's how far as we got down by there now so I've got to carry on down, yeah? We've had four loads of scrap from you. Like I said, I'm the last video. But I've been going through it all. I'll show you how to make yourself in the winter. I like guess now today. Like I said, I upload on the same day. What's the date today? I know it was a Saturday. But Saturday the 5th. So I'll sob you. I'll do this tonight, if not tomorrow. But it's getting a bit chilly about you. So that's when the old gas fire gas bottle fire, yard fire. Anyone who got a bit of a yard or farm, I reckon definitely have a sort of a fire going. Look at that. Pucker. You'd be surprised how nice it is. Just to come out with a cup or something, stand by it. The only thing is you get too cosy and you don't do nothing. So that's the only problem with fires. But um any any burning rubbish as well. So it's looking out of a mess down here. It's just where we be going through stuff. It is creating more. I'm splitting, taking uh, tyres off, so I scrap the, the steels. Don't have there, I'm just breaking it with the hand one, and I'll get them off in the shed then, with the good one. I have done nothing round the back much, up the caravans, nothing, so that's pretty much all the same as the last video. So that'll be for another one. I have tucked down my temporary, when I say temporary, it was there for years, and it was awesome. A little log shed thing by there or the scaffolding. Um, but I'm doing a new log shed, yeah. But I'm gonna build a new log shed. That'll be in the next few weeks. Definitely, I got all the wood, I got everything, I got steel to put on the floor first. Um, I got enough stuff. We're doing a 14 foot wide, but about 30, 35 foot long, something like that. So that'll be tidy, can I get new log splitters and we're going more into that as well, and then they so keep an eye out for them videos. This will be definitely transformed into a new log shed by there. Like I guess there's only a short one today. Um, all on this tree. I'll show what I'm doing. Like I said, a lot of people think it's a lot of work, which it is, the way I've done it. But um, I think it's safe. It's a safe way of doing it. Let me get my torch. I'll show you why I'm doing it this way. Everything's still a mess in here. We'll do that. I hope everyone had a nice Christmas, New Year. Anyway, anyway, here it is. Like I said, I got the scaffolding, so why not use it? That's my scaffolding. I already do a lot with it on the farm when I need to. It took us about half a day, I expect, to put up, to be but that's we're finding it all, digging it out. When I move it to the next tree now, it'll be faster again. It's a combination of cup block, all different combinations there, like going on. But that's quite safe there. I go up two steps then, and I'm into my own little tower up on the top then. I've got to work on it all from the one side. But I think I'll manage it on the other side. But that's quite safe. I can reach out, tidy up there now, in front of me. The reason why I'm doing it this way, you might think, why not just pull it down? It's right by the main road. You'd be surprised how close it is by that. Right? And they're longer than they look. Then branches up there, I want to cut them down with the pole saw. That's the first video. Because when you... They're deceivingly long, yeah? they could go onto the road. If they bounce down onto that edge, they're on the road. Like I said, it's a busy road out there. Here's some of them we cut off just to get the scaffolding up. And you 
deceiving how long they are, look. Look how long they are. If they go over and onto the road there. So that's one reason. So the three of them are coming down all the same way. I'm using my ASCII, 372. But this is why, because he's rotten and he hasn't got no centre. So the end won't be any good. If you look in there, look, rotten. Just rotten. That won't be no good at all with an inch. That'd be unsafe. I could pull it with two um, pullers, turfers, as I usually do. But look at that. That's where you got to come down. This one is dead. This year, had no leaves at all on it. And this one over here, losing all the bark. Look, half the tree just died out. All the leaves went on the one side. I think I said that in a few videos. So, it's dying out on us. Yeah, so there we are. So, look out for a few good videos on it. Like I said, definitely the first one was probably with Monday. I'll get up there now with a pole saw on there and I'm going to reach up and cut them in half. Cut them in a chunk so they drop down and there's less chance of going out onto the road. And then when I start cutting there, do it all from the one side, obviously. But I'll start cutting the chunks then with the 372 with a 24 inch uh, bar on there. And I should get through all that there and then drop them over into, into chunks and work my way back down then. So. That's all right. Like I said it took a lot of work putting it up. It was. Um, but it's, like I said, I think it's worth it. I got the scaffolding. If I didn't have the scaffolding, no. I'd say it'd be too much cost and hassle into it. But it's in the barn by there. Just got it out. Got some off that um, lamppost on there. I finish over there, the lights. And uh, there we are. It's been so close there. I just think it was the safest option. I said time consuming. I'm not in no rush. So it didn't matter. Like, like I said, two of us, four hours, something like that, putting the scaffold up. And that's finding it as well, mine digging it all out, so it'd be faster to move along. Um, or I could just take it half down and pull it with the tractor. Maybe there's a way of doing it like that. Like I said, I think it'd be interesting now. Look out for them. Like I said, don't climb. So this is the only way I could really see it doing it. Other than taking it all down, but like I said, it's rotten inside, so we no inch. Too much hassle could go wrong with the house, but there. Like, like I said, I could turf it out, double line it, so it can't go nowhere. But I just feel better this way. Not that much happened up here, really. Did take a post out here, an old post. We'll fill that all in now, in case someone put their foot down in there. Took a post out to there. Took the old scaffold in here, just got to finish off a few things, but there. Put a new post in there for the gate to come against. And we're going to tidy all this up then, start working down there. Like I said, it's a long process, but um, it is getting there, and we're full on back to it now, after the holiday. So, check out my channel for weekly uploads. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Cheers.